It's a comic. No, it's a graphic novel. It's called the Utopia Experiments. We had this. Where is it? <laughs> if just one of those conspiracy theories is proved, just what, what about Utopia then? Tell him, Becky. Utopia part two, there must be something in it that they want. <laughs> I also live with my mum. Jesus Christ, you're going to make me cry now, Ian. <laughs> I'm mission. You should persuade him to take it. What about a vaccine? Russian flu. I think we could reconsider. He signed. He's fucking resigning, Michael. My mate's going to ask you a question. <gasps> Where is Jessica Hyde? My name is Jessica Hyde. Come with me now or you'll all die. Who are you? And what's going on? Ian, don't point that gun at me. How? How do you know my name? Jessica Hyde. Wilson. They did this. We all have to go now. We're not going anywhere. You need to tell us who you are, how you know my name, and what the fuck is going on. Ian, you won't be able to shoot me. Yeah? Don't imagine I won't, Jess. No, really, you won't be able to shoot me. You've got the safety catch on. They don't generally have safety catches, except on telly. Every second we stay here is a second they are getting closer, and they'll kill us all. Please, come with me. What about my dad? He's going home. I've arranged for someone to pick up your dad from where he works. You don't know where he works. Davington's on Vesta Road. They're picking him up now. I promise. I'm not sure about this. You two ready? Yeah. We're ready. There's CCTV at both ends of your street. We'll go through the back. Is this your car? You're so cute. Are you going to tell us what's going on? Who's after us? In the 1970s, the Soviets set up a germ warfare program called Biopreparate. It was huge. They were weaponizing anthrax, Ebola, smallpox on a massive scale. The West panicked and created an organization to combat the threat. It was known as the Network. It was based in no country, reported to no one, and was utterly deniable. It did things democratic governments couldn't. They were insane. Totally out of control. What's that got to do with us? Basically, that's who's after you. You're fucking joking, right?
come there anyway. Give me the gun. We need clothes and money. Your accounts are useless now. Oh, you're gonna rob them? Let me make this very clear. Your lives as you knew them are over. What the next 48 hours are about is abandoning everything you knew or thought you could rely on and adjusting to the new reality. If you can adjust, you will live. If you can't, you will die. Now we need to change the way you look. We need to get very far away, and we need drugs for Wilson. Give me the gun. Ian, hang on. Can, can we talk about this? I mean, it's an armed robbery. It's a just or die, Ian. I don't know what to think of her. You could have fooled me. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. What, are you just going to watch you? Here. Do I more thing? Oh, heroin. It's a painkiller. Do for now. You look good. Should wear that colour more often. You look shit. But in a good way. We need to get out of the city. We'll transfer to a van to keep Wilson out of sight, then burn this out. the manuscript, Ian. Utopia, part two. You need to tell me if you have it. We don't. Vision never turned up. I haven't got Wilson's father. I need to do things to keep us alive. Some of those things you wouldn't normally approve of. This is insane. Yesterday I was arrested for a sex crime. Today I'm on the run from ex-government nutters who want to pull out my eyes. I'm a fucking IT consultant. Jeff. Jeff. Hmm? Have you seen this? <laughs> yeah. Those bastards have got a real bee in their bonnet about the bloody vaccine. But they've named me. Well, you did buy it, Michael. And in any case, there's nothing we can do about it. We're tied into the contract. Uh, yeah, well, well, we're not. Actually, I found a cancellation clause. It can be enacted if the department's total spend with the supplier is over 240 million. To ensure diversity of supply. Yeah, but this is only 83 million, Michael. I mean, really. No, it's... no, no, but it's total spend. We get two other vaccines from Corvar plus a wide range of antibiotics, cytotoxics, hypoglycemics. I mean, this puts us well over 240 mil. Have the contracts sent over to me immediately. No one else to see them. Look, whatever Corva are paying you, we are not going to get away with it. We can stop all this. We, we can stop it all now. 
It's horrendous trying to conceive, isn't it? The medical nature of it all, the IVF, all that science. A man needs warmth. So I understand you fucking a prostitute, I do. But what I don't understand is you getting her pregnant. Do you think your wife will understand? Now get the contract straight over to me now. It's for the best. people going on holiday, stay at their houses. They never know. This is connected to a tripwire in the drive. Have everything by the back door. Always be ready to leave within 60 seconds. What if you're in the bath? No baths, no showers. It's time to stop worrying about looking pretty, Becky. Are you trying to wind me up? There'd be no value to that that I can see. You got a thing for tough women, is it? Oh, don't worry, Ian. I get it. Imagine her big, strong arms around you. What? You let us walk into this. I mean, how much did you know? Because we had no idea. Look at Wilson's face. That's not my fault. Tell that to his dad. Because she doesn't have him, by the way. Right, tell us the truth. All of it, not bits and pieces. All. Or I leave. Would you like to at least sit down first, Becky? No, Jessica, I fucking wouldn't. The network was created by two men. A geneticist called Philip Carvel and someone called Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit? It's a code name. No one knows the real identity. When the Cold War began to wind down, the various governments involved decided to back away. Only thing was, Mr. Rabbit and Carvel had no intention of stopping. At some point, Carvel wanted out. So they tortured him to keep him working and held his daughter hostage. Eventually, his mind snapped and he went mad. He was going to be got rid of, but somehow he was smuggled out, given a new name, and hidden in a psychiatric hospital. The hospital was Shanley. And the new name was Mark Dane. What, you... You mean Carvel wrote Utopia? A therapist got him drawing. What he drew was... <laughs> incredible. So are the things in Utopia are real? Like, BSE. They created that. It's hard to say what's real and what's not, but yeah. BSC was theirs. How do you know all this? I'm Philip Carvel's daughter. I was smuggled out with him when I was four. I've been on the run ever since. <laughs> Did you pricks give me heroin? We had to. For the pain. Oh. Well, I hope it wasn't Afghan. Taliban have been altering it for years to make us infertile. Everyone knows that.
We need to find Utopia. We start with where it came from. What, what about the others? It's fine. I left a note. Back soon, don't have a bath. Look, Wilson needs someone to look That at. is not the reason. Don't you see what she's doing? She's trying to divide us. Becky, that makes no sense. Then why take you in on me? Because you're not strong enough. I can't risk taking you. I know stuff. I know more than he does. Like, what about Corvat? They're involved. They give people disease. What about Corvat? They're involved. So what? They're a bit player. You're not ready, Becky. Look, you just need time to... Right, go on, then. Fuck off! work. Don't worry. I'm very scared. I, I know. I, I mean... They find out I'm pregnant. They're angry. Will you, will you just have to get me some time? Michael, I think I've watched. Watched? By who? I don't know. I'm scared. That they come now. Michael, you help, yes? You good man, yes? Michael Dovedale. My name's William Kay. I'm a journalist. I wanted to talk about the flu vaccine. Oh, no, no, it's not. Now listen to me. Your life is in danger. And this isn't about a fucking story. I just wanted a story. I'd report the fact that you've got a Russian prostitute pregnant. There's my card. Things are gonna get mad. You'll need me when they do. B Jung got Utopia from the comic shop. They got it from a dealer in Scotland. <laughs> who is now dead. <laughs> and he got it from this guy, Jack Tate. And who's Jack Tate? The man who published Utopia. Mrs. Tate? Yes? We need to speak to your husband. Right. My husband's dead. Do you want to come in? This was his study. Can you tell us where he died? Uh, the A22, uh, under the Hailsham Bridge. He walked out in front of a lorry. I'm sorry. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. Actually, I have something you might be interested in. Yeah, it's um thing, can't describe it. Uh, papers and drawings. That sounds like exactly the sort of thing we're looking for. We have to get out of here now. What? Why? Yes, you might want these papers. <coughs> what the fuck have you done? She's with them. What? What are you talking about? Please turn up asking to see your dead husband and you don't ask why. Ah, oh, shit. Glock 22. She's CIA. It means she knows next to fucking nothing. That's how they work. They have people high up who get their drones to do the work for them.
You're going to answer my questions. And if I think you've told me even one lie, I'll put this wire in the water, plug this in, flip the switch. Understand? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? We got a tip off. The man who lived here has been wanted on terrorism charges for over 25 years. We were too late. He'd already killed himself, so... So we took his wife in. Has the wife given you any information? I don't know. <laughs> What did she say when you got here? Oh, on the day he died, uh, he was talking crazy. He wasn't making any sense. He said he'd been visited by a tramp. A tramp? A tramp or the tramp? I don't know. Uh, the, maybe, or... Look, hang on. I asked you a question. Was it a tramp or the tramp? The. It was uh, definitely the... She said the... The Select Committee? Yes. With powers to look into all aspects of the acquisition process. This is not going away, Jeff. They're announcing it tomorrow. Do nothing. Keep quiet. The morning will bring something new, it always does. Jeff, we cannot do nothing. Well, it's sort of an order, actually. Worry less. Look, I know it's scary now. But tomorrow you'll be a hero. I promise. He didn't call in. We were worried. You're not agency. Who are you? No. I'm not agency. I'm a specialist. What did you tell them? What did I tell them? They were going to fucking fry me. What do you think I told them? I told them everything I knew. Was it her? Yeah. Yeah, it was her. She was with a young, black male, 25, 28. Was a young man then? Messed up face. Missing an eye. Wow, that looks great. It's like um, pirate chic. <laughs> How's your sight? Uh, I can see shapes and colours. 
Thanks for looking after me, Becky. Where's my dad? She lied. <laughs> no, she had to get us out, Wilson. I mean, she he's probably fine. I need to find out. Well, we can't. You know they'll be monitoring our families. We'll put them in deep. Look online. I'll show you how to disguise the search. I swear they won't know it came from here. Wilson, we can't. I need to know. Please. His name's Milton. Milton. Milton Wilson. What is it with your family and names? Right, you sure they can't trace us? Positive. He's a cricket nut. He logs in every day. You'll see whether or not he's logged in. Is he there? No, I'm not in yet. Is he there? He's, he's there, he's fine. Grant has the manuscript. I heard them talking about it and they mentioned him. I wasn't gonna fucking tell her. I get hurt. I'm not scared of you. What's that? Comment. Well, are you going to show me or are you going to be a twat all day? Going to tell me your name then, twat? Grant. Pleased to meet you, Grant. Alice. Tomorrow, twat. Are you sure this will work? It's for Natty Comics. Grant's addicted to it. It's nerd heaven. And you have to read all the personals, otherwise you miss all the good stuff. I don't. But other people do. But what if they're monitoring it? Say to me at the embassy. Dane based the embassy on the Taunton building on the Cam Hill estate. Only a real twat would know that. Yeah. And me. Never deny you're in a twat, Wilson. It's part of your charm. Oh. I won't do nothing, I promise. Have you got that 
comic. This is so beautiful. Yeah, and that's part two. No one's ever seen that, just you and me. Quite surprising, you know. You strike me more as a Spider-Man type. Oh, we should sleep. If Mom sees a light, she'll come in. Letting me read Utopia. Just to look after it. Keep it under your bed. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll come back for that. Come back last night. Nope. Wankers. What are we gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a fucking bath. We're getting more information on our breaking news story the outbreak of flu in the Shetland Islands. We can confirm two more people have now died, bringing the death toll to 11. That's 11 now dead on the Shetland island of Fetlar from the suspected outbreak of Russian flu. details of the identity of the... 18 dead, 33 infected. There's only 86 on the island. Jeff's ordered a quarantine. No one gets in or out. Right, right. If it's a new strain, it's got infection rates already of 58%. Michael, thank God you got the vaccine. You're a fucking hero. Did you tell them my name? Did you tell them my fucking name? No, no, I didn't say anything. I think they're onto me. I think I'm being followed. I mean, I, I saw two men. Jesus Christ. Have you seen the news? It's happening, I told you. What do I do? I mean, people are dying. We need a sample of the vaccine. You can request one direct from Corvette. It's within your remit as an advisor. There's a man in Sheffield, a scientist called Donaldson. Get it to him. Well, what about you? What about you? Trump used to be a scientist with the network. He got out. Now he monitors their activities. He has to keep under the radar to stay alive. 
I reckon that's his office. A public phone? Here we go. Him, but... He really is a tramp. <laughs> yeah. He's called the tramp, Ian. Hello, Danny. Jessica, how lovely. How did you know Utopia had a part two? He's on our side, isn't he? There are no sides. Just people who help you and people who don't. Now, no, Jess. You know a gentleman never reveals... Don't make me ask you again, Danny. Jack told me years ago. I went to see him now because I wanted part two. I knew Jack from the old days, you see. Why? What's in it? He never told me. And when your father died, well, it didn't matter anymore. But now, they have something. Your father was working on a project called Janus before he died. They've replicated his research. They have it. They're going to test it. And... Uh, and what does Janus do? I swear I don't know. The last thing your father was working on were viral delivery vectors that attack the human genome. And Tate, what did he say? He said that this is the end. He said that we are all finished. And he took his own life. We need to work together, Jess. You and I. What I team. still don't get is what you were going to do with it. I mean, what use would it be to a decrepit old sack of filth like you? What do you think your last breath will feel like, Danny? There's a woman. MI5. They already have MI5. Not this one. She's like us. Works in secret. Trusts no one. She can help. Now, Jess, if you get me the manuscript, I can get it to her. What's her name? Please don't make me tell you that, Jessica. Jessica. Ian, we need a vehicle. You've seen me enough times, it's time for you to do it. Why didn't he give it to you? Bit odd. I'm on your side, Jessica. You know that. I'm one of them. If we found him, they would. He gave up Milner's name like that. You saw what they did to Wilson. So you just killed him? I pulled up the ladder. What? You fucking killed him? You took his life? So what, you just, you just kill people if they're not convenient? Is that it? Why are you being so odd?
What the fuck are you doing? They, uh, they just came in. So you tied them up? Children? You tied up children? We're making it look like a burglary. You did the right thing. We meet here tomorrow at 10pm. Keep Wilson out of sight, stay on country roads, avoid CCTV. You did exactly the right thing. So I, 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 I want a sample of, of the vaccine. I'm sure you understand the, the events of last night. So, this is an R680 request Excellent. form. Excellent, yes. You want a sample? Yes, it's, it's, it's all filled. It, it's all in order. The, the, uh, the, the paperwork is... What do you want it for? You are contractually obliged to supply a sample within 48 hours. Yes, of course. Something wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. I just need... I want a sample. I can do that. Freelance journalist William Kay has been murdered in a car park in Wapping in East London in what's being described by police as a gangland-style execution. Mr Kay was shot three times in the chest and once in the head. Police have a suspect in custody, a Russian national named as Anya Lukchenko. Anya. Police have described her as a sex worker. The detective leading the investigation has... How's your wife, Dugdale? Still trying to conceive, are you? Still trying for a little baby? Forget the vaccine, Mr. Dugdale. You're not a spy. Becky, you'll be in the Taunton building. It's a huge water tower. And Becky, be careful, Grant's a city trader. He's bound to be a cock. Becky. Grant. <laughs> well, I thought you were a city trader. <laughs> Fool me. Right, don't worry. It's just Wilson. He's um he's been hurt. You better go in the back with him. Oh. Wilson, Wilson. You look a mess, man. Bloody hell, you sound about ten. Close. He's eleven. What? Really? You said that you owned a Porsche and that your girlfriend was a supermodel? Yeah, I've got ambitions. <laughs> <laughs> right, stay here and be nice, both of you. She got a boyfriend. I'm just gonna go and get some water for us from the shop, okay? It's me. The manuscript exists. The boy. The boy knows where it is. Jessica Hyde.